Hi guys, so welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to unbox the Ergo Tune Supreme version. So this box is actually slightly less heavy than a secret lab chair. So let's unbox and see how it goes. The Ergo Tune Supreme V3 box is slightly larger in dimension compared to the secret lab Titan Evo 2022. However, it is actually lighter. As we open on the box, we are greeted with a very big piece of instruction manual, similar to Secret Lab. I guess, this is the standard for all the chairs right now. The box is very well packaged with all the foam protecting the chair. First up, we shall take out this box and let's see what's inside. It is wrapped with a shiny aluminium-like looking foam. Not so sure why they actually packaged like this and let's see what's inside. It is actually the headrest of the Ergo Tune. Hmm. If anybody know why do they need to wrap it in such a manner, do comment below. Removing the wheels, there's another box below it, but this box is intentionally left empty. This is just to secure everything else in place. Next, we have this turquoise booklet. Looks like it's an ergonomic guide for the Ergo Tune. It's very nicely done, especially when it's printed in color, telling you how to adjust your chair for the optimal performance. Next, we have this box that contains all the screws needed to actually assemble this chair. This packaging actually looks cheaper than a secret lab. The Allen key is more flimsy, but it does its purpose. And finally, for the last box, this is actually the lifting mechanism, which I put it aside for later. Finally, it's time to remove the foam protecting the back of the chair. This backrest is actually way lighter than a secret lab and can carry easily with a single hand. Now, time to put it at the side as we unbox the rest. Below it is the seat of the chair. Now the box is showing an image of the items that are directly below it. There is also a pamphlet that entices you to review the chair. By reviewing the chair, you can actually get extended warranty and 100% cashback if you are selected. Next, it's time to insert the wheels to the metal legs of the chair. It's just a quick snap and it is in. Next, for the armrest. For the armrest wise, it's a bit different from Secret Lab. We have to actually install it from the bottom. There is a total of three screws. We have to align it to the R. So as you can see, there's an R on the handle and there's also an R on the chair. So just align it and screw the three screws in and you are done. For the chair lifting mechanism, all we have to do is to align the front of the mechanism to the front of the chair. For people above 180 cm, we have to adjust the mechanism further back so that the screws are aligned with the hole there. This is quite a neat feature as it means the chair can be adjusted easily. Using the Allen key provided, screw in the four screws and you are finally done with this part. Now time to fit the backrest of the chair into the seat. I use the box below for easy lifting so I don't have to put in much strength. After aligning the three holes, insert the three screws and screw it in. For the last step, insert the metal pole to the base of the chair. The chair is actually quite heavy so make sure you get it right. Next up is the headrest. For the headrest, there is actually two screws holding it together. Align the headrest to the chair and insert two screws from the bottom. Using the allen key provided, just screw it in. And you are done. That's it. That is your Ergotune Supreme V3. Ergotune or Secret Lab? Wait for our next video to find out which is better.